So, there was an explosion last time. Yeah. Let's figure out, you know, what happens <laughs> what happens after that. Yeah. I'm calling it that it's the delivery woman. Cuz she th she was commenting about uh, Oh, we don't have the I don't have my digital thing with me. Just find a place. So, uh, welcome back to Let's Play Trauma Team. Hmm. Just a little while longer. Hang in there, Alyssa. I'm right next parasite. Oh, yeah, we should do that. I'm Air327. And Alyssa was in the bomb blast. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please do. Well then. Alyssa. Just thinking, why were they having voltage problems if they were actually at the hospital? They're in an older no, ward, I think. Don't go off. Oh. She's going to live. She has to live. Please, Alyssa. You've got to live. This might be a bad time for me to bring up the guessing game. Don't worry. I promise that I'll save her. It stopped. Hmm. It stopped. <laughs> he certainly <laughs> is an enigma, isn't he? He only recently arrived here. He's been through a lot. Okay, there's my pointer pointing at the phone, there's even no though the remote's not worry. connected. Yep. He'll How does that happen? See Alyssa. It's weird. Definitely. Yes, and we'll do our best too. Besides. If you keep looking so sad, Alyssa will surely laugh at you. Oh, Dr. Kimishima, where are you going? You're absolutely right. Right now, I don't even deserve to be laughed at by her. Hmm. Okay. I'll leave this to all of you. Alyssa, I'll be back. Well, now it's personal for her too. Not, yeah, not just Naomi. little guy. <laughs> Dr. Kimishima, are you all right? Take it down a notch, little guy. Talk to me. Oh, uh, excuse I just me. almost exploded. Uh, no big deal. It's okay. Has the FBI contacted you? I want information. Uh, right, yes. Uh, I've made arrangements to have it sent to us. Great. Send a helicopter over to take me back. You won't get away. I swear I'll catch you. Dr. Kimishima, are you really all right? I'm fine. Let's sort out what's happening. Any new information? Uh, well, about that, we couldn't find any usable clues from the scene. We did obtain the signed delivery form, but... Go on. Right. Only your prints and the delivery persons were found. Here. Huh. You amaze me. You still don't get it, do you? Every person is the bomber. Uh, what do, you mean? do you really think there aren't any clues to the bomber? Did you figure something out? Of course I did. That's why I'm here. Oh my god, just say it. Yeah, right. Why are you being so quiet all of a sudden? No, it's nothing. It's just that. Also, Stephen just looks what? like Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Please edit it. Uh, a, a lightning, lightning scar over him. <laughs> <laughs> Just complete the picture. That's enough of that, Agent. There's no time to lose. You know, I feel like it, it just occurred to me, but I feel like if your name really was Dr. Kimishima, at some point you would just become Dr. K. Because that's too many syllables. Over the information that we have so far. Yep. Oh, uh, right. The revolutionary. Stephen Eldred. Also, actually, one thing that I'm pretty sure that happens from the last case to this one is we actually keep the evidence okay. from the last case. Was not, in fact, the raging bomber. That's right. Yeah. The real bomber placed an explosive inside a stuffed animal. And, and a package. Sent it to you, Dr. Kimishima. Let's trace the delivery back to its source immediately. I don't believe that that came that through legitimate came delivery from. means. We'll find the bomber and then... Yep. There's no need for that. Uh huh? Hmm. Don't you think there's someone oh my God. suspicious? Why am I like 10 steps ahead of the game? Please, just, 
just catch up to what I'm thinking. Or I tell me that I'm wrong. Either or. We're, we're both ten steps ahead. <laughs> yeah. Delivery oh. woman. It's clearly him because they just <laughs> said it wasn't him. Right. <laughs> I mean, I figured this out before the bomb went off. Like, Don't tell me. they finally caught up to me. Indeed. The person who delivered the package is most suspicious. Ugh. Then the raging bomber personally handed you the bomb? Yes. Is yeah. That too dangerous? Clearly not, because it's been working. I have proof. Carbon dust. There is no evidence. <laughs> I have proof. I have proof. There's <laughs> no proof. <laughs> I got carbon dust on my hand when I signed for the delivery. That's because the delivery person said that the digital pad was broken. Aiden and Steven, the other victims that we examined, both of them also had carbon dust on their fingers. I see. That explains why the carbon was only they on their dominant hands. They all signed for the form with the, their dominant hand. Yes. Mm -hmm. In other words, the bomber killed the other two victims in the same way that I was targeted. The fact that the delivery person was female also points toward her culpability. What do you mean? <sighs> don't you get it? That I don't get. Let me ask you this then. How did the bomber hide her true identity? By having Stephen Eldred make the messages for her. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess the revolutionary. The revolutionary, yeah. She she basically used him as a proxy. Yeah. And paid him a lot of money to do that. Yep. And she for some reason, Stephen instead of Eldred using it to, to pay off his student debt, he used it to buy a guitar. Yep. But even this was a trap. That's because... His voice was unprocessed, I guess. Let's see. Divert our suspicions. Yeah, because it, it was unprocessed, so... Uh, you know, we thought that the Raging Bomber was a male. I think that's what it's going for. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going for. This one's actually one of the harder ones. Yeah. Okay. Yes. She let Steven's voice go out unprocessed on purpose. What? So the bomber wanted us to think... Everything she did was an act, and we were fooled. We were all led to believe that the Raging Bomber was a young man. I see. Then it all makes sense. Indeed. On the other hand, there's another mystery that we can't solve just yet. That is. Uh, let's see. None of why those was, seem unanswered. Why was he killed, though? That we don't have an answer for. Right? I mean, presumably because he was no longer needed. Yeah, but we don't have. I mean, that's the one have we have the least of an answer for. Yeah, like, but this, it's not this, that much of a it's not that much of a reach. This one we just answered. That one wasn't directly part of it, but we have a reason for that too. And then yeah, why make the threats again? Diversion. Diversion. Yeah. So yes, the bomber was using the revolutionary character as a cover to protect herself. Why then would she kill him, little guy? Huh? What? What happened to Alyssa's house? Oh. Unfortunately, it completely burned. Well, shit. The building collapsed. It's useless as a potential crime scene now. I see. Then I'm going to investigate the revolutionary's room one more time. Again? Yes, but now I know what I'll be seeing. You look into those deposits. The ones into Stephen Eldred's accounts? Okay, I'll get started on that right away. Now it's going to be a matter of uh, piecing together what evidence we can Mm-hmm. Because the problem with bombs is they don't leave a ton of evidence. Yeah. I'm going to catch her. That's my only way to atone for what happened. All right, to the crime scene. I've investigated this room before. I can't just rush around now and expect to find new information. What we need now is more information about the raging bomber. If the same method was used to deliver the bomb here as was used to get the other bomb to me, the area with the most clues would be... The doorway? Yeah. That looks familiar. The delivery hmm. form. If the bomber did send this, there's a chance that this form has some important evidence. That would be... Fingerprints. Oh, yeah. Voice, Voice print. print? <laughs> I 
Right. We may be able to lift some fingerprints from it. Okay, so we got that. Uh, footprints right. on the mat. If that woman delivered the bombs to both of us in the same fashion, then she would have left footprints at the entrance. Not if she didn't Stephen enter the room the and handed it to him from outside like mail. every other person who delivers mail does. If the but no one walks inside female, to deliver her mail. Footprints would definitely be different. Let's look for footprints that differ from Stevens. Okay. Uh, right there. Yeah, I think. The, the, the footprint is different there. I think there's another one right here. Yeah. And I think those might be the only two. Yes. This footprint is definitely different in size and pattern from the other. Never really look at the Vongri shoes much, but hmm. they Let's do have pretty distinct for patterns from each other. Yeah. Usually. Okay. What else can we look at? Do do do. I don't know if there's need to use any oh, oh. somehow you found a thing this is a human i think that is just using the um, the light long. Mm. no and it couldn't possibly be the revolution really carefully coiled i mean hair does not just end up in a, in multiple stacked perfect circles on the ground well that's also i mean i'm sure that I that's know not of nobody that intended. has their hair at 40 inches long I think it said centimeters. Oh, centimeters? Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Yay, metric. We, we, we should be using metric in the yeah. United States. Let's be honest. Can you tell me anything about this hair, okay, little This is guy? a total tangent, and it totally shows how much of a nerd I am, but I couldn't, fi fi ugh, couldn't figure out where my TI-84 was and I needed a calculator for a physics test um, and had um, a card for the bookstore because reasons and decided you know what I'm going to treat myself and get a fancy TI calculator and I got a TI-89 yeah it does unit conversions and Whoa. it's amazing like you can just type in everything with Newton I, I was I, starting over you can just <laughs> type in everything with units and if it pops out with the with the units you're looking for, then you probably did things right, and it was great for physics. Wow! So, uh, if any of you are going to be taking a physics class and you're allowed to use a TI-89, it's great. Or a TI Inspire. I've heard that that's even better. Probably, but I it was so worth getting. Like I'm pretty sure that the TI Inspire can do integration, and the like, 89 can too. You can do symbolic, symbolic. integration and derivatives. It's so I great. I wish I had that. You can do derivatives with units. It's amazing. All right, so enough gushing about calculators. <laughs> Again, sure. totally shows how much of a nerd I am. That I'm so excited about my calculator. I'm equally a nerd, so... <laughs> We're both excited about the calculator. <laughs> well, this hair is dyed black, but it's actually a red hair. Red hair? Is it a red herring? Can you tell if it belonged to... Ah... Uh... <laughs> That was bad. You should feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'd need some DNA from the bomber to compare it to. Of course, but there's a good chance that this hair does belong to the bomber. Huh? Why is that? Uh, this is hardly conclusive evidence, but or decisive evidence for that know, matter. Yeah. Only two to three percent of people in this country are true redheads. It isn't a common color at all. So, how is this related to this well, case? Well, it narrows down the person by yep. quite a bit. Cause, well, by think, about. Think about it takes away about 97% of the potential suspects. Well, and think about... And you know, knowing it that makes it's female, that's another 50% of what's left. It makes a lot of sense in terms of if you have a very uncommon hair color and you don't want people to know who you are... Yeah. It makes a lot more sense to dye your hair. True. Think about it. That hair's been dyed, hasn't it? Right, but... If that hair is the bombers, as I suggest... What reason would she have oh, to die? Oh, here comes the pop quiz. Um, it would be... Yep. Natural color uh, She's constantly <laughs> losing hair. She was going seem right. more menacing. <laughs> uh, 
I know I say this all the time, but I love That's the right. fake answers. Having red hair is an obvious identifying feature. If there happened to be any witnesses, her identity would be easy to discover. Isn't it plausible to think that this might be why the bomber would dye her hair black? I see. That hypothesis does make sense. The dye used seems to be a temporary coloring agent as well. It's even more uh, convincing then. Hmm. Hmm. So the dye is meant to be washed out. Yeah, because what if she changed hair colors for different deliveries? Mm hmm If that's the case, she could change her hair color with every <laughs> I swear! <laughs> witness accounts. I oh. swear I'm not... <laughs> I don't have this, like, memorized I know, it's anything. great. <laughs> it's great when that happens. That would make her hair part of her costume as well. Yes, but until we can prove that hair belongs to her, this is all just speculation. It's good to see the game finally catching up to what we've been saying since the end of the we last case. We need something case. to match her DNA yep. with in order to do that. It's a decent theory, anyway. Let's keep gathering what information we can. Got it. I'll let you know immediately if anything else comes up. <laughs> the bomber's hair? Question mark. <laughs> Okay, um, I think, oh, come on, really? Really? Wow. What? It's hard for those to be more related. Maybe we have to get it. Where, what? I found this. Oh, come Can on. Can you analyze it, little guy? <laughs> it's a piece of paper. I Done. Guess we, I guess we have to get the prints lifted off of it first. It's very Ow. likely. It hadn't even crossed my mind until now. Right. Wait, what hadn't crossed your mind? So uh, getting the prints run, I guess. Oh. Uh, Dr. Kimishima, the results of the analysis on the. It's good to know that we accomplished coming. exactly nothing while he was doing that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> did they find anything? Sure did. There were two sets of fingerprints on the paper. One of them is Stephen Eldred, a revolutionary. He'd be the recipient. The other yes. set belongs to somebody else. Well, common sense dictates that they'd have to belong to... Let's not start jumping to any conclusions. We need to find out who left those fingerprints. I mean, if he'd finished with the person who delivered it, I'd agree with him. And we could then say, which was probably the bomber, but we don't know for sure. And I yeah. would still agree with the sentiment. Okay. Huh. Yes, those two can be placed <laughs> together. Little guy, could I bother you for a moment? Yes, of course. Do the fingerprints on my thing match this thing? I want you to look at the fingerprints on the delivery form Stephen and I were presented with. Compare any prints you find that don't belong to either Stephen Eldred or myself. No problem. I'll just be a moment. What did you find? Are there any matches? A complete match. There's no mistake. These are from the same person. Good. This is proof of another important fact. Both forms have two sets of prints. One from the recipient. They're delivered from yep. the, by the same person. Yep. The one person who delivered it. Yep. That's right. The other set of prints is from the person who delivered the package. If the fingerprints match on both forms, then the person who delivered the bomb to the revolutionary was... All right. The delivery woman who is at CIFM. Little guy. <laughs> That this woman. Let me guess. She doesn't exist, right? Uh, right. Uh, we've contacted all the delivery yep. companies. Yeah, that that's what I figured. None of them can confirm having an employee that fits our description. And of course, none of them have any records of a package being sent to you that day. Yeah, either. again, what I figured. Do you think the woman making the deliveries is the Rachel Yes. I, it's incredibly I figured, likely. I figured I out sure all yet. of this. She might be another last case. Used like the revolutionary was. I mean, again, at the beginning of this one, actually. No, oh, sorry, at, at the, the end, end of, of the last one. Yeah, sorry. We'll figure that out as we continue with the investigation. So, game still catching up to us. <laughs> right. Yep. In any case, we'll need to keep that woman in mind. How about the fingerprints? Did you compare them to anything in the FBI's criminal database? Of course I ran them through the system. No matches, though. If that woman is the raging bomber, she's a complete new. I'd say after, f after, well, now five well, bombs. She's not, she's not in the system. So she hasn't been. She's I get not what wanted he means, for another crime. 
Yeah. I get what he means, but at this point, after five successful bombings, I'd say she stopped being a newbie right around three, maybe? And she's already killed four people with these bombs. You know, if you're being a pessimist, after three. This might turn out to be one tough murder spree to end. As long as she doesn't blow you up, it'll be okay. You might want to avoid saying things like that in the future. Oh. Oh. Uh, sorry. I... Anyway, we've figured out how she was delivering the bombs. Yes, let's try summarizing what we know of the events in this case. First, the bomber prepared a bluff to hide behind while she committed the crimes. That bluff was... A revolutionary. Yep. Stuffed animals. <laughs> Message cards. She was hiding behind bombs! Yes, the revolutionary, <laughs> Stephen Eldred. <laughs> The bomber had Eldred make the bomb threats over the phone. She had him use his own voice with absolutely no processing to attempt to conceal it. Because of this, the bomber misled us into believing that the killer was male. On the other hand, the bomber used the names of people close to the targets to send the packages. She did that to make her targets feel less suspicious about the deliveries, right? Yes. All the bombs were set to explode in close proximity to the target. It's likely that what triggered the explosion Opening the been... package. Hmm. Hey! Facial recognition. <laughs> I, I mean, mean, that's possible could, in this day and age, but... that's age, not but... the most likely. Yeah. Indeed. If the bomb was set to go off when the package was opened, it would explain the wound patterns. Yeah, because they were, like, really close. Still, mm -hmm. that's not what she did in my case. She used a time bomb for me. That does seem odd now that you bring it up. Why would she do that? It Maybe she got the right target. About it. She was What's just trying to mess to with her. Don't you get it? It's because... I mean, that's why I was in a teddy bear. No, because... It's something that you just have to know more about, like, the setting of the game. Oh. In this case, obviously Alyssa wasn't the target. Um... I mean, then why was it in a teddy bear? Hmm? Why oh, was it in a teddy bear? I'm not sure exactly why it was that. Probably to um, avoid suspicion long enough for the bomb to go off. I mean, maybe. It was on a timer. But, yeah, think, think about, you know, she might have been stopped going into the compound. Hmm. And had to go through like security, so I think I think this is what they want. Excellent reasoning. I think she was thinking that far ahead. Let me ask you, investigator. Well, because yeah, what if somebody opened up the package, yeah, up in security, and then it would have gone off right there. Hmm. If someone assisting the FBI appears in a tabloid, what's your by the book response? Increase security. Um, we'd increase security around you to prevent the killer from striking at you. Exactly. In fact, the security at CIFM was heavier than usual. The bomber had to be sure that I would be killed by the blast. If there had been a baggage screening at the entrance and the lid was opened there, she predicted that her present would never reach me. I see. So that's why the package didn't go off the moment it was opened. Yes. And she even put a note inside the package. She wanted to ensure that I would be near the bomb when it went off. If it wasn't for Alyssa, I would have been. She's a tough one. This is the kind of mind we're dealing with. The question remains, was the woman who delivered the package the yes. bomber or not? From the evidence we have, she's definitely the I most mean, suspicious she's our lead character suspect. at this point. Yeah. Still, this whole thing about taking such a risk to deliver the bombs herself. And if she was the bomber, wouldn't the revolutionary have noticed before he was killed? That's possible. I mean, However, not that would only happen if, if the revolutionary knew her Seemed like... She, they had a reliable way to communicate digitally, so probably not. Huh. Yeah. Think about what happened in Eldred's room. The bomber sent her messages via the computer. Perhaps the revolutionary only knew the bomber from the internet. Still, would somebody really deal with someone they've never even seen? I mean, for $10,000, better better, probably. people can remain yeah. as naive as the day they were born. But why did the bomber kill the revolutionary in the first place? Oh! I had something to report. I almost forgot. God Can damn you it. Not suddenly yell like that? Yeah, sorry. It's about the revolutionary. We looked into his financial records. It seems there were periodic Probably deposits payments for sending out the threats. Yeah, let me guess. Two of them were $10,000, one was 5,000. Yep. Really? Hmm. Let me guess. It was the bomb threats. 
Friday the 13th, <laughs> the bomber's birthday. We don't know the bomber's birthday. Absolutely correct, Dr. Kimishima. <sighs> of course I am. Continue. <laughs> All of them were made around the same dates as the bomb threats. Five thousand dollars for the first three times, mm. and ten thousand for the fourth. So not time. quite what I thought. The last one was double the others. Oh yes, there's no doubt about it. Who is the fourth victim, though? Think about it. Hmm. Mm. After that deposit was made, the bomber targeted the one who made the threats for her. Could the change in the amount of money be related to the revolutionary's killing? Oh, Maybe he was demanding too much money, and she said, eh, fuck you. Eh, maybe. Final deposit. All right. Um, oh, we need this hey, little guy. Too. I need this footprint analyzed. Mm. All right. Hang on a moment, That was a long uh, yeah, stretch it was. to get that card. I see. I Did honestly forget anything? what got us into that whole conversation. Uh, the, the delivery form is 27 centimeters yes. in length, so we should expect this person to be between 170 to 180 centimeters tall. Can you put that in freedom units? <laughs> <laughs> freedom <laughs> units. <laughs> the woman who delivered the bomb to me was about that tall. I see. Oh, well, I've T89 could help us. <laughs> Or I happen to know that conversion rate between centimeters and inches is 2.54 centimeters per inch, so... Well, that and it's slightly less Great. than two meters, which is down to a specific story? around six feet and slightly less than that. Yeah. Okay, pay attention. <laughs> okay. Well, there aren't that many stores that carry this brand. We're talking about the shoe now. Oh, okay. I can narrow it down, but it's going to take some time and a lot of effort. Well, do the best you can. I'm going to keep investigating. Understood. I'll contact you once I found so it. we're gonna have to wait on that one. Yeah. Hey, we got a I'm star for it. I'm sure it'll. I'm sure it'll only show up when the plot demands it, and not any sooner. Yep. I was gonna come up with a sarcastic way to say that, but I couldn't think of a good one, so I just went literal. Okay. Um. I don't know if we can drag <laughs> this. Nah. Yeah. Um. Uh, maybe Ty. Why was the revolutionary killed to the payment doubling? Let's see. Where, that was where the was other she... dead. Ah, why was the re revolutionary killed and final, final deposit. deposit? True. We might be able to there do we something go. from these. I don't like to conjecture much, but I could try making some inferences. The revolutionary was receiving periodic deposits of large sums of money. It's most likely that whoever was making these deposits was the bomber. The raging bomber. It's the FBI <laughs> plot twist. <laughs> Alyssa was making periodic deposits of five thousand dollars. That seems reasonable. Indeed, I believe that it would have been the bomber herself who was using the revolutionary. In exchange, the revolutionary performed a service for the bomber, which was the phone calls. Uh, make bomb kill threats. himself. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem like a very good deal. Here's five thousand dollars. Kill yourself. <laughs> Yes. The bomber paid him in advance to make the phone yeah. calls to deliver the bomb threats. But, according to Little Guy's information, there were four deposits. The last deposit was very different from the rest. It was twice that the amount. difference was... Mm -hmm. It was approximately double, or twice different. It was a lot more money. Mm-hmm. Double is a lot more. Yes. Yeah. The amount of money was double the previous deposits. Now, what could explain this sudden increase in the payment amount? Uh. Hmm. Maybe. I think it. I think it's actually probably a. Yeah. Well, think 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 about you know if he was asking for more money because obviously he wasn't close to paying the loan off. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, "I ain't having any of that." <laughs> Yeah. And then, you know, killed him off as, mm -hmm. as a result. That's possible. Human avarice knows no bounds. It's possible that the revolutionary thought that he had an upper hand on the bomber. Using that, he may have tried to blackmail the bomber over his part in her plot. The fool. There is a plausible reason why he would demand an increase in his reward. Loan company. Pay back his loans. Yeah. He was to make a new bomb. 
to fix his broken phone. <laughs> That's right. He took out a loan in order to pay for the expensive guitar in his room. There's no way to know whether his arrangement with the bomber began before or after buying the guitar. But even so, nobody wants to live in I mean, fear of debt collectors. No, there is a way to know that because he paid off exactly $25,000 and was given exactly $25,000. I'm pretty sure they're connected. Yeah. Still, any perceived dominance he had over the bomber would have been an error. I doubt the bomber even thought twice about murdering him. She seems like the type who is absolutely merciless to anyone who gets in her way. I mean, just look at mm -hmm. how she's treated Naomi. <laughs> mm-hmm. But the bomber did make is that one the name of the girl on screen? More than yes. The okay, amount. good. Didn't know that. <laughs> the reason for that must be... All right. Yeah, to pay him for another threat. Pay for another threat. Yes. The revolutionary, after being paid twice his usual amount, made the fourth bomb. Not threat. knowing that it was for him. However, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have known that he himself <laughs> was the target of that threat. The bomber's clever. She had the foresight to make the fourth bomb threat before killing Eldred. Without that, HQ and I would have immediately noticed that something was different. She created this diversion to hide her intentions, making Eldred's murder seem like just another attack by the raging bomber. This is all starting to bring one more conclusion to light. Hmm. Oh, it's hey, there's guy. the fingerprints. Did or whatever we had him analyze. I don't even remember. Possibly. Thank heavens I could reach you. Could be something different. Calm down. What's the it's matter? It's probably not. We've made some progress into those deposits paid to the revolutionary. It's in the deposits. All four hmm. of them were made from a bank near Higgins Beach. Higgins Beach? That's not far. What about the security footage? Was the bomber seen by any of the cameras? It's no use. We've checked them all, but there's no conclusive footage we can identify. It's no use! <laughs> <laughs> I see. It's all right, though. I know for sure that we're closing in on the bomber. We've you knew that last quite a time. lot of information now. If some of the facts we know are put together, maybe... Ooh, dead plus dead, dead equals, equals dead! dead. <laughs> Solid dead. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, hello. Hmm. Higgins Beach Deposits. All right, well, we're going to have to cut out here. Oh, yeah. Because we're getting up on time. So uh, we'll see you in the next one. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Drama Team. I've been Red X Parasite. I've been Air 327. Signing out. <laughs>